Hey guys, young man here with a quick tutorial on how to use Fraps. So first things first, you want to open up Fraps and just look at this general page for a second. Um, there's a few options here. So if you use Fraps a lot, you can select Run Fraps when Windows starts. That means on boot up, it'll also open Fraps, which is very useful if you use it a lot. Now, the reason most people are probably trying to use Fraps is for gameplay. So you want to go to the movies section, and I like to change this because I feel like uh, the place it automatically saves movies by default is just a bit tedious to get to. So I change it to a folder that I've created specially for Fraps. Now, next thing I also do is change the video capture hotkey. I'd like to change it to F4 because this isn't really used much unless you want a quick escape a game. The next thing I do is leave it at 30 frames per second. You can change it to 30, uh, 60 frames per second if you want to record super high content, but I just like to leave it where it is. Uh, leave loop buffer length and unless you're making really long gameplays, uh, you don't need to worry about this. Now, the thing that you want to do if you're recording gameplay is click record Windows 7 sound. What this will do is record the audio that comes from inside the game. And then if you want to record your microphone through Fraps as well, you can click record external input and your microphone should show up here. If it doesn't, what you want to do is click here, right click on speakers, recording devices, right click on your microphone, but first, uh, if your microphone doesn't show up, you need to just right click show disabled devices, right click on your microphone, and instead of disable here, it will say enable. Okay, then it should show up here. If it doesn't, try restarting fraps, and then it should be there. So, I do not use this personally, as I use Audacity. I feel it is much stronger, and it allows you to edit the audio a lot smoother. Check out my tutorial on how to use Audacity in the upcoming future. Now, that's everything I want to say about how to use Fraps. Thanks for checking out this video. Like, if you had any problems, comment, and as always, subscribe. Thanks guys.